We appreciate you all coming here. As you guys know, the reason we're having all of this is every day we got a new story. And uh, the last story hit us, uh, Muslim communities. And uh, the ban on Muslim, you know, we don't know what the law is, but we know it's a ban on Muslim. Uh, the detail, every million analysts gonna tell us what it is, but for right now, we know it's, we're targeted as a Muslim. God knows who's next tomorrow. We know we live in a community mostly Hispanic. That's gonna be a bigger issue for us in this community, and we need to stand united. So, why not have One of, one, of the, one of the things we're, we're concerned about is, is as these executive order come in and as these, uh, regardless if it's related to the president or not, because every, there's a lot of people doing their own thing, taking advantage of the situation. So hate letters are going to start coming. We just got a very nasty one the other day. Uh, and also harassment gonna start, and we got uh, one of the ladies that was shopping at Target that harassed. Now, even though it's a little thing, it's still harassment. No, uh, so, so, so the more the more we stand together, we need to show that the community is not gonna accept these harassment. <laughs> Mexican American. Uh, is it for uh, LGBT community? Uh, is it for the Jewish community? Is it for XYZ community? We're not going to accept it. We're gonna, not going to. We should be just like we showed up today. We'll be willing to go and show up again uh, at their place and stand with them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, So I'm going to hand in the microphone to somebody else. But I want to really, from my heart, to thank you. Thank you, our friend, for coming today. It means a lot. Thank you so much. It was absolutely shocked to hear that the president of the European Union was declaring Donald Trump and the, this administration in the same category as ISIS, terrorists, <laughs> Russia, and China. Wow. Imagine what that means. They, they feel that this administration is a threat to their very existence. And they feel that unsure. You know, from, our, from my, my Christian tradition, the Christian tradition is filled with, with, with images is that, that how do we treat our neighbor and who is our neighbor? Jesus reached out to the, 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 the pagans and the prostitutes and the Samaritans and the tax collectors, reached out to everybody and said, that's your neighbor. The, the weakest person in your community, that is your neighbor. And we are challenged, we are judged by how we treat one another as neighbors. Again, from my scriptural tradition, when I was hungry, you fed me. When I was naked, you clothed me. Lord, we didn't know it was you. Whatever you do to the least of my people, you do to me. And because we believe that, we are all, if we come from a Jewish, or a Muslim, or a Christian tradition, we are all children of Abraham. And we are here because of that. You know, I believe in my heart, and this is hard to say, is that I believe in my heart we have to take, you know, some page books from Martin Luther King Jr. You know? We have to begin to, to be ready to do the things that he did in terms of crossing the bridge to Selma. And all of those things. If not, we will lose. And, he, and again, he said, "You cannot, you cannot uh, stamp, stamp out darkness with darkness. You only stamp out darkness with light." And we have to be people of light, and that is why we're here. So we ask God's blessings on all of us and on our community. Thank you. Yes,